Hello, friends. Welcome back. Welcome to Spelling. Um, it has since started raining here out in the burg. It's a little bit, you can kind of hear it, maybe. I have a window right over here. I'll show it to you. See right over there, my window and my air conditioner unit. This is the window with the one with the duck sitting on top of it. Well, when the rain hits that outside of the air conditioner unit, it makes the prettiest little sound of rain. Do you like the sound of rain? Maybe you like the sound of thunder. Maybe thunder scares you a little bit. And I do like the sound of rain. So we're getting nice, peaceful rain today. Um, does make me sleepy sometimes. Does that make you sleepy? I'm interested to know what's your favorite kind of weather. All right. So today we're going to do spelling. We're going to branch off and do something a little different. It's a page that most of the time we just don't really do in our spelling book. But I think I'm going to start because I think it's a pretty good page to do. So let me find it here. And there it is. And I'm not just choosing it because it has a deck on it at all, but that's a pretty great reason to do anything. But it's dictionary skills. And I'd like to talk, we've been talking about um, how you can use textbooks for all different kinds of things. We've talked about a thesaurus. And I know you know what a dictionary is because we do use dictionary um, dictionaries. But nowadays our dictionaries are right mostly right on the line, are very easy. Back in the old days, we had a great big book. It was usually nice and thick and heavy. And it was a dictionary and had all the words that were most commonly used in the language at that time. So you would, if you wanted to find out what a word meant, you'd have to look it up. We don't do that very often. Now we're in the age where you just type in part of it and it will pull it up. Or you can speak it into your phone and it will pull it up for you. We have all kinds of apps for this, but it's never good to lose some of those old school skills, right? You never know when you're going to need them. Um, internet goes down, your battery is not charged. Well, how are you going to look up a word? Here's the way to do it. So we're going to practice a little bit of these dictionary skills today. And if you look up at my information, oh, I gotta tell you what pages it is. The page we're looking at today is right here. It's page 73 in your packet. So go ahead and get out page 73 in your packet spelling. Page 73, you'll know it because it's got a duck wearing boots. One of those are chicken boots. Okay, take a minute to find this. If you can't find it, um, what do you do? Just get a piece of paper. That'll work great and write down your answers. But if you do do that, please write spelling page 73 on your paper so that I'll know that this is what it goes to, okay? So take a minute and find the page. And then of course, write your name and date on the page. I'll do that right here. Two, one. Make sure you get that down. You need to pause the video, that's totally cool. Go ahead and take care of that and come back when you're ready. All right, great, you're back. So I'm guessing that you've gotten this all done and you're ready to move on, okay? Well, the first thing I see when I look is I see my title. My title says Dictionary Skills, okay? And then I've got, an information box, you see my information box over here. And it says, word forms. Many words are not separate entry words in the dictionary. A word form is often an entry word plus a suffix. When a suffix is added to a word, you must look up the base word for the dictionary. In this dictionary, the word forms are in bold, it is bold after the definition. Okay, let's listen and repeat those directions together, shall we? Here we go. Word forms. Many words are not separate entry words 
in the dictionary. A word form is often an entry word plus a suffix. When a suffix is added to a word, you must look up the base word in the dictionary. In this dictionary, the word forms are in bold after the definition. And why did they do it bold? Because they're talking about word forms. And this is the writer's way to get you to understand that this is important. It's important to what he's saying. So we put it in bold print. Okay. So if you look at a word, the word pray, there's the word, the base word. Pray means to talk to God. And the forms, the word forms are prayed, praying, and praise. See, it's got the same beginning part, the same base word, but a different ending or suffix. And we talked a little about ed and um, ing and s. We've talked about those before. Okay. Next one, you have the word press. Tells you it's a verb and then tells you what it means. Then over here, it's got your word forms. This one has an ed. This one has an ing. And this one has an es. Okay. But they all have the same base word. Press, press, press. Okay. So now let's go on to the next part. The directions say, use the dictionary. I'm sorry, use the dictionary section above to answer each question. And number one says, what are the three word forms for the entry word pray? There's our clue word, pray. So we come up here to find pray, there it is. And it wants to know what my word forms are. Remember the top said, my word forms are in bold letters after the definition. So I'm looking for the words in bold letters. And I've got those three right there. So on my line, I need to write braid, praying. And here's one more over here. That one only way said I got kind of messy there. Can you see it? See it right here? That's the word I want you to write there. Okay. There it is. Okay. That's what I want you to do. Go ahead and finish those up. Next one says, what entry word would you look up to find the following word forms? Entry word, remember that's going to be our base word here. Entry words are the first words. Okay. 
and three words. These words right here. Prey is one, press is one, huddle is one, cure is one. Okay. And the question says, what entry word would you look up to find the following word forms? Puddles. Let's remember that. Puddles. Let's look back here. Puddles. Hmm. Where's the word? Oh, there's the word puddles. What is the entry word for puddles? There it is right here. Puddle. Um, and now find the word purist, and I'm going to have you do the next one on your own. Purist. Uh, there it is. Purist. Entry word. There it is right there. There it is right there. I don't know if you can see that. I'm giving you a clue, okay? Here's a clue. Where it goes down here. That's the word that goes in there. Okay. And last one. It says, what are the word forms for press? Hmm. Press is up here. It's asking you for the word forms. I see them right down here. Okay. Those are what go down in here. So let me give you some boxes. There you go. I need you to fill that in for me. Okay. Get it? Got it? Good? All right. I love it. I love you. I will see you back here for social studies shortly. Bye-bye. Well,